we're back. For, for more beating the tar out of people. This time a small child. Oh, so it's child abuse now. But, I mean... She's wearing, wearing like, a, a inappropriate top for a small child. I mean, yeah, it's, once again, Japan. Yep. And, hmm, giant robot hands. Not sure what the deal is with that. To make up for the fact that she's a small child. A small, super excitable child. Evidently. So, how does the small, super excitable child with giant robot hands get roped into this whole shindig? She is part of one of the uh, groups of the game that monitor the phenomenon known as the night. Put that in quotation marks. Right. Where weird shadowy monsters pop up. And if you get bitten by one, it eats a piece of your soul. Hmm. And eth ether, manner, whatever some sort of magical energy, ambient energy in the area, fills the spot. And you either go comatose forever, or you wake up and get superpowers. It's kind of a gamble. Kinda, yeah. Uh, what are the odds? Like, 50-50? Well, it depends. Are you are you part of, part of the main cast? Or even the supporting cast? In which case, it's super likely. Hmm. Then, if you see one of these shadowy things, it, the human mind is unable to comprehend it, so you basically freeze up. So it takes willpower to get away too, especially after being bitten. As they are full of writhing tentacles. The bigger ones, anyway. According to story mode, it says the uh, smaller ones are about the size of a snake. Hmm. I assume that means kind of like garden not quite garden variety snake, but pop culture garden variety snake. Big enough to eat, like, an egg. Right. I think. Whereas the larger ones are as big as dogs? medium-sized dogs, or big-sized I don't know. It just says it's about the size of a dog. Here's another small child. They're not quite as small. Eventually... Evidently she's approaching her teens. Yeah, she's at least kind of got boobs. So she's got to be at least 12 or 13 years old. <laughs> There's another fighting game reference. Examu is the are the developers of uh, Arcana Heart, which Arc System Works publishes in Japan. Ah. Maybe one of these days I'll play Arcana Heart. Maybe. Probably not. Let's not make promises we can't keep. Sort of like how I said that uh, I'm going to play every game in a series if possible. Or, well, not, I, I'm pretty sure I didn't say if possible. I said I was going to. Well, now it's if possible, because I don't want to play Resident Evil 7. Or Mega Man 9 or 10. Indeed. I kind of prefer those, those games stay out of my memory. Also, Lean is the heroine of the story. Well, the main heroine of the story. Because it's Japan, so naturally the main heroine of the story would be a 13-year-old girl. Well, the body of a 13-year-old girl. Ah, it's one of those. Her soul is immortal and possesses a random girl as soon as her previous body is killed. Sounds like a kind of raw deal, if you ask me. Kind of, yeah. My mind and memories merge with, with your new hosts, and, well, 
Well, I guess you get a free set of extra childhood experiences. Which sounds pretty miserable, all things considered. It's like, how many childhoods has this woman had to relive? Like, like four or five. She's been around for about 200-ish years. And usually in like her late teens, early 20s, she's just like, Alright, somebody killed this body, let's move on. Why? I don't I would wait until at least middle age. Ah, uh, but... Early 20s is middle age in Japan, remember? Yeah, everybody, everybody, everybody stops mattering at 25. Here's the protagonist, you can tell because of his hair. And it's natural, you can tell because, well, I mean... His little idiot bang up there is similarly colored to the rest of his hair. Nobody goes through that much effort to dye their hair. Just kind of like uh, Yugi Moto's hair is that's his actual hair. Mm. Which, well, that's kind of weird. Reincarnation or no? Ugh, this is right me I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm super hungry. But what do I want to eat? I kind of want to treat myself to pizza, but... I guess it's not really treating myself, because, I mean... Yeah, there has to be a reason for it to be a treat. And having, like, a piss-poor last couple months is... Well, if I was treating myself to pizza for that, I'd be eating pizza every day and it would just become a regular meal. Yeah, and honestly, I, uh... I have had pizza every day this week. I, I think I'm done with pizza for for the week at least. A couple days. Man, I'm, I'm really considering pizza. It's been a while since I had Burger King. Or I could go to Subway. It's closer. But less filling. How is Subway less filling than Burger King? Well, for the same price of buying a sub at Subway, I can get more food at Burger King. Eh. I'm one of those guys who basically will order off the dollar menu, and I'll order like five things, so I get the equivalent of like, I guess like a meal and a half, really, depending on how you how, what you get. And that's why I'm fat, but that's okay. Being fat is great. I love eating food. Food is awesome. Food is awesome, which is why I, I put a Herculean amount of effort into exercising self-control so I don't become fat again. I practice self-control. I could eat more, but I don't. Yeah, we're having a boat show at work in fucking February when it's, you know, snowing like crazy for some reason, but anyway, boat show. So they've got hot dogs and cookies and chips and... Bring some hot dogs home. Yeah. I assume they're like, not, uh... They're not like Oscar Myers or anything, they're actually like fancy hot dogs. Seem to be. I didn't eat any myself today. Let's see, uh, I'll probably eat one for a lunch tomorrow. Also, the story is over. Akatsuki goes and does his thing. Whatever that is. 
going to check in on his headquarters that is probably no longer there because it was, you know, 50 years ago. The names are scrolling by too fast to really read many of them. Yeah, that's... Except for, like, the capital ones like Sato and Yamamoto. Makoto Sato. Tira and GHQ. Sakura is Sato? All these idle characters, well, all, not characters, but idle girls singing theme songs. Ah, uh, yes. Probably. All to win. That just sounds dirty. I actually do not recognize any of these Japanese voice actors, which is actually kind of kind of surprising, all things considered. Usually I recognize at least one or two. Hmm. You have to be, I guess you have to be amongst the, the big names for me to really notice. Once again, there's very, very few Japanese voice actors that I recognize by name. Like Nobuyuki Hiyama? The look on Matt's face says no, he doesn't recognize that name. No, I don't. The guy who voiced Lincoln Ocarina of Time and... Well, he gets around a lot. Mm. Yeah, I... I don't recognize the name. You're welcome. I, I, I was happy to play you Wonder Night in Birth. Next time on Incredible Bromance, uh, probably more of this. Except somebody else. Right.